funding is made available and accessible to women and young people. The moderator of the last session made a very, very important point, the role of knowledge, the role of knowledge in any agricultural endeavor. And therefore, we're making a very, very uh, strong representation for the expansion of extension services at federal and state levels. The last but not the least under the next generation in agriculture, Mr. Vice President, is the importance of agro-mentorship. Agro-mentorship. The presence of Mr. Atedo Peter side on the panel was not by accident. Neither was the presence of Mr. Lumelu on the panel an accident. The presence of Mr. Aliko Dangote yesterday on the, on the panel was not an accident. The idea was to really hold these successful farmers, the large taffidas of this world, the uh, MD Abubakars of this world, to hold them up to young people that, listen, they were once like you. And yes, they made a success in their various in their earlier professions, but they have also found interest and made success in the agricultural sector. This was the whole idea. And we therefore hope that Mr. Lumelu and Mr. Peter Sai, Aliko Dangote, that Alaji Isa Tafida, MD Abubakar, will see the need to take these young ones under their wings, to mentor them, and to shepherd them on their way to success. A critical sector which has been identified as a major constraint to the expansion of Nigeria's agricultural sector is finance. In this respect, Mr. Vice President, we have proposed that it is important to develop cost-effective, agro-specific insurance products in order to help these farmers and even the lenders hedge the risks associated with lending in the sector. We also believe that in view of the statistics, the repayment statistics, which appears to suggest that women have uh, are, the, are, the most, uh, can, are the most trusted to really repay loans that they receive, we would like to encourage the financial services sector to again expand their lending to um, women through, the, uh, through various cooperatives in the various communities in uh, Nigeria. We're also proposing the continued uh, investment in the development of innovative long-term uh, financing uh, to, uh, and, and the partial credit uh, guarantee schemes. Some of this is already ongoing. So basically what we're suggesting is an expansion, considerable expansion of these schemes to uh, uh, create better, to, to, to really reach out to many more people in the entire country. We'd also like, Mr. Vice President, to recommend the expansion um, of the Commercial Agricultural Credit Scheme, otherwise known as CACS, okay, and to make it a revolving scheme. We do not believe that once the funds are located to that particular scheme is exhausted, then that should be the end of that initiative. We believe that it should be structured in a way to make it a revolving scheme and therefore, uh, and, you know, as a way of making these initiatives sustainable. We also propose, Mr. Vice President, on the finance, the acceleration of the implementation of the uh, FAFIN uh, uh, fund. Furthermore, we propose that the growth enhancement scheme, which has been celebrated which has received great commendation, should be standardized or should embrace a standardized lending approval process to seed companies. There should be a, standardized, a really standardized process of really providing this credit to seed companies as a way of making it sustainable. It should not be on an ad hoc basis, and we think that that is the only way to make this sustainable and to expand the success that has already been recorded in the sector. Going forward, Mr. Vice President, Again, in the light of the, uh, the kind of information vouched by Mr. Tedo Peter Side earlier on the panel, we think that we should consider very seriously tapping the capital market for long-term funding and to securitize agricultural uh, 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 risks as well. One important issue that emerged and which was also very thoroughly debated or discussed in the three-day summit is the issue of improving access to markets as a way of encouraging agricultural um, endeavor and also uh, improving agricultural uh, production. That is the issue of markets and commodities exchange, Mr. Vice President. 
And we believe that it is important going forward to do this as a matter of urgent national priority, to expand the capacity of the Securities and Exchange Commission to regulate commodities exchange. More importantly, Mr. Vice President, we think that it is critical for us to finalize as soon as possible the draft regulatory policy on warehouse receipts, which is important for the effective implementation of a commodities exchange um, regime in Nigeria. We also wish to propose that there is a need to fast track the privatization of existing commodities exchange in the country. We believe that this should be taken out of the hands of the government as much as possible, maintain regulatory oversight, but let this be run by private uh, concerns. An important issue on the markets and commodities exchange, of course, is the logistic support required to achieve this. And that is the need to develop logistics infrastructure, logistics infrastructure, storage, and transport station systems, which will underpin and help the full realization of the uh, commodities exchange uh, regime that we now propo uh, propose. Again, under this, under this section, we propose the development of institutionalized agro markets so that there is remove the issue of um, unpredictability. People are fairly certain of what to expect, when to expect it, and things like that, Mr. Vice President. An important component of what was discussed in the last three days is the issue of government partnerships at all tiers. And in this respect, we're looking at both the, uh, uh, the, the federal government, the state governments, as well as even the private sector. An important issue that emerged in the last three days, of course, is the perennial issue of access to land, especially by smallholder farmers, more importantly, by women and youth in agriculture. And we believe that um, it's very important for us to address the issue of uh, the land, uh, uh, land ownership in our country, which is a constitutional uh, 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 provision, and there, I think there is a consensus on the need to pull this thing out of uh, the issue of land, out of the Constitution, and make it an act in order for us to better manage issues around land and make it uh, easier for people to, um, to leverage land and exchange titles. The Growth Enhancement Scheme has been celebrated very much, and the reason is because of the success that has been recorded over the period that it's been implemented. We therefore want to propose, Mr. Vice President, that the GES should be backed by appropriate legislation at all levels of government. <laughs> During the session on agropreneurs, one of the young uh, farmers, uh, uh, Isa Tafida Jr., made a very, very important proposition he flagged the issue of uh, land clearing and the constraints that it, it imposes on young farmers or even older farmers because most banks will not offer you credit for you to deploy this in the clearing of land. And he therefore suggested that both state governments, the private sector, should consider innovative ways to possibly clear land, which is a major cost component for most farmers, and therefore agree a scheme through which this can be, uh, the, 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 the expenditure can be uh, underwritten um, in order to ensure and encourage people to go into agriculture and then uh, for us to really ensure the sustainable implementation of the agricultural transformation agenda. Yeah. Mr. Vice President, Nigeria is a key player in the NEPAD initiative, the new partnership for, uh, for Africa's development. And a broad range of issues were agreed at that level over the past uh, uh, 10, 15 years since this was first canvassed. An important recommendation by NEPAD is for member nations to consider very, very seriously deploying at least 10% of their budget, budget reallocation, annual budget reallocation to agriculture in order to demonstrate further political commitment and further seriousness about this, uh, nat new, this national aspiration. We would like to recommend very strongly, Mr. Vice President, 
that government considers the deployment of at least 10% of our annual budget to agriculture.